My research is uh, based on the pancreatitic fibrosis and we are interested in seeing the protective role of the interleukin-15, whether the interleukin-15 has any protective role over the pancreatic fibrosis because the fibrosis is the major concern that leads the pancreatic cancer. Previously in our laboratory, the, like our colleagues are working on the esophageal fibrosis and they are seeing the role of the interleukin-15 and they found some promising result that the interleukin-15 has a promising role in protecting the esophageal fibrosis. So because of my interest in the pancreatitis, so I started working on this project and uh, I looked the, the whatever the role, how we can uh, prove the role of the IL-15 in the progression of the pancreatic fibrosis. In order to do that, uh, we have to go for some animal models. So we use the Balsi mice and we have uh, like IL-15 knockout mice model, we have transgenic mice model. So, so we, we started our research with, uh, with any suitable mouse model. So we looked and we found that there is a serolin that is a drug that is known to induce the pancreatitis in the mouse model. So we use that model to induce the pancreatitis. So basically pancreatitis is of two types, that is the initial is, uh, stage is called the acute pancreatitis and if the repeated episode of the, this is going on, this leads to chronic pancreatitis and ultimately fibrosis. We have established this model in our laboratory by inducing the serolin, by giving the serolin to the mice and we, we, we set up the acute model and then we confirm whether the model is fine or not, we check some of the markers for the disease. So there is a one well-known marker that is the amylase. So we found that the amylase activity is pretty much induced in those models. So that confirms that model is working well. And then we started uh, giving the treatment of the interleukin-15 to those mice by the intravenous route. We tried a couple of doses, 2.5 microgram, uh, 5 microgram. So we found that 5 microgram dose is pretty much good to protect the, the fibrosis. There are like several uh, signaling pathways which are going on in the in the fibrosis. So one of them is the well known is the TGF beta mediated pathway. So the TGF beta is a well known pro inflammatory molecule. So we in our research we found that the IL-15 is able to down regulate the expression of serotonin induced TGF beta. So this gives an idea like yeah IL-15 is playing a role in the in the pancreatitis. So then with this aim, we also check the level of the pancreatic fibrosis associated genes like collagen, fibronectin, SMA. And then we, 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 we looked whether if the model is, acute model is working fine, then we, we go for the later stage of the disease that is the chronic model. So we induce the chronic pancreatitis by giving the serotonin for the four weeks. And then we treated the mice at the same time with the interleukin-15 and we take out the pancreas, the, the histological analysis and we also check the fibrosis deposition. So the, the, so the fibrosis is like, if the fibrosis happens, there is a lot of the deposition of the collagen fiber take place. So in order to confirm this, we did some kind of the staining that is like mass and trichome stain. And then we confirm that the, the interleukin-15 is able to reduce the serotonin-induced fibrosis. And further, we also confirm by, by at the molecular level what are the genes. So we also confirm the level of the TGF-beta, collagen-1, collagen-3, fibronectin. These are the well-known genes that are associated with the fibrosis. So we found that the pretty much it is good and it is reducing the, all these markers of the fibrosis. We tested our hypothesis by using the IL-15 knockout mice. So in IL-15 knockout mice, if you, we further induce the fibrosis and we check the TGF beta level and we found in the IL-15 knockout mice, the TGF beta level is more prominent. So this gives a clear cut indication that IL-15 has a protective role in the fibrosis, in the pancreatic fibrosis. So we use the IL-15 knockout mice and we checked the expression of the TGF beta, that is a pro-fibrotic gene. And we found that uh, that gives us the indication, yeah, this is going to be happen and this, this is like really it is happening there because the IL-15, if, if the IL-15 is not there, TGF beta is high. So that was the like most exciting thing and we get the clue that, yeah, this is going to be like, uh, like the signaling pathway how that IL-15 is working.
Because the pancreatitis is mainly it's, it is due to the food habit of the people and in, in, in the western world it is going to be increased because a lot of people are taking the alcohol and this is mainly associated with the alcoholism. What happens when the people, the, the acute pancreatitis starts, it, it, it starts with the acute pain and it, it is not bearable so the people are admitted immediately to the hospitals and if the, the acute pancreatitis can be immediately treated but the chronic stage is not treatable because once the chronic stage fibrosis is done it cannot go back then it further lead to pancreatic cancer that is the lethal we believe that the, this IL-15 uh, is maybe used as a therapeutic intervention therapeutic option because the IL-15 there are some several also reports indicate that the IL-15 is in the clinical trial for some melanoma cancer so we believe that if we can do that in the and we are also testing the, the these research in the human biopsy samples so we are pretty much we are getting the promising result but not yet so we have to look at other parameters in order to do that. So I think if we can do that, the IL-15 therapy will, would be a beneficial for the pancreatic patient and may be helpful to treat the pancreatic cancer. We are in planning to do the IL-15, its role in the, in the mainly on the biopsy sample that directly to the human patient. So if we're getting some, like we, we are hoping that we will get the promising results. So once we get those results, we can go for the next step for these drugs as a clinical trial.